Apple is a tamed tree and fruit of the rose family. It is the most widely domesticated fruit tree. Red Delicious and Red Scarlet are two popular apple varieties known for their vibrant red color and delicious taste. To ensure a successful harvest, proper planting techniques are crucial. These apple trees require well-drained soil, full sun exposure, and regular watering. With proper care and patience, growers can anticipate a bountiful harvest of these luscious red beauties. Apples can be used for a variety of other things than juices, jellies, vinegar, jams, etc. Commercial use of them is made for these objectives. Cider, wine, and brandy are made with a colossal amount of the apple production. Please subscribe to the channel for more fascinating videos. Harvesting An apple orchard begins carrying the fruits within seven, eight years. Though it depends on the cultivar, it is said that the economic life of an apple is almost 35 years. Anyhow, when it comes to fruit production, it increases from the 8th year to the 18th year. However, this development remains the same until 30 to 35 years. Though apples are harvested in late summer, often in October, it also depends on the variety and the climate. The right time to harvest is very important, as early harvesting will reduce the sweetness in fruit. While late harvesting turns the taste into a flowery texture, so always pick the right time and pick those fruits that seem ready. After picking them from the trees, containers transfer them to the warehouses where they put the apples in flowing water through hydra machines. These machines not only wash the fruit but also separate them according to the sizes and varieties. After the procedure, they tag them regarding their types and packed apples in different boxes. Anyhow, some varieties cannot be stored, such as L-Star. These summer varieties are edible as soon as they are harvested and shouldn't be stored for more than three weeks. However, autumn apples such as Boscoop can be stored for longer, almost six to eight weeks. Some of them are packed as gift boxes and the rest of the boxes are ready to transfer to the market where they are used for different purposes. Many hotel owners purchase quality fruit for their restaurants for serving numerous dishes with apples. They prepare apple jams, juices, canned apples, fried apples, and cooked apples such as pork with apples, apple pies, and different desserts prepared with apple. History. It is a common thought that a domesticated apple is driven from a wild apple, M. Siversi, in the mountains of Tian Shan, located in Central Asia, about 4,000 or 10,000 years ago. From those mountains, it spread to Western Europe through a silk road. Over time, they improved the apple quality and discovered different varieties. Before the settlement of the Americas, hundreds of varieties were recognized in Europe. As colonial settlement moved across North America, it was brought by distributions of seedling apple varieties. Firstly, they were brought by Native Americans and trappers. After them, local people and itinerants appear then as local legendary figures. The most famous human being Johnny Appleseed was a professional nurseryman who cultivated numberless apple trees in Ohio and Indiana. 
In the first quarter of the 21st century, Turkey, China, and the United States were the largest producers of apples. Yummy! Tree structure. Apple trees are small in size. They should be trimmed in time. If remain untrimmed, the tree will approach a height of 30 feet with an equally large crown diameter. Generally, the bark looks brown but scaly to the touch. Their leaves are simple but roughly oval and have teeth shaped from the edges. Apple flowers have five white colors and five petals. Often you can observe pink stamens, countless. The flowers are fecundated by different insects and bees. For good fertilization, apple flowers need cross-pollination. Apple is a fleshy fruit. In an apple, its ripened ovary and surrounding tissues are built as fleshy and edible. When apples are picked from trees, they are two, four inches in diameter in red, yellowish, and green colors. Cultivation. Many of us know that apples need a considerable time of abeyance. It blooms in areas having large times of winter, considerably from the latitude of 30 to 60, both north and south. Apples will grow better, healthier, and high in quality when the temperature will be low. Well, in this regard, the climate is the very first object that affects apple growth direct. For healthy growth and large production, they require 1,000 hours of a chilled temperature of 7 degrees minimum. However, extremely cold temperatures will also bring damage to the yield. Apples also can be planted at 1,500 to 2,600 meters above mean sea level. An apple orchard needs 20 to 25 degrees centigrade during the growing period. Apples have a quality they can be grown in many varieties of soil. However, the most suitable soils are considered well-drained loamy soils rich in organic matter with a pH of 5.5 to 6.5 with good aeration. Those who cultivate apples commercially should pick the tested soil based on test results. If soil is caught with any micronutrient gap, it should be incorporated. Land must be well-drained and deep with a layout suggested for commercial farming of apples. Balance the suggested layout by providing deep plowings. If you observe any weeds from previous crops, you must remove them. If you are planning on large-scale apple farming, you must pick the tests of your soil's fertility and suitability. Tested soils are beneficial for your farm as you easily can diagnose the deficiency of any matter in your soil. Generally, the reproduction of apple trees is done through the germinating and tongue grafting ways. Commercial producers should take care of the planting material. When we talk about the planting season, the best months are January and February. The system in apple planting is square or hexagonal. For apple cultivation, dig the pits of size 1 meter by 1 meter by 1 meter. Each pit should be included 50 grams of malathion dust and 35K to 500G of single superphosphate. Spacing in plants varies with the variety of plants. The UHD, Ultra High Density Method, adjusts more than 1,200 plants per hectare. Whenever moderate density is followed, plants will be around 250 to 500 plants per hectare. However, with low density, it will decrease to 250 plants. Each apple plant needs 115 centimeters to 120 centimeters of water each year. Casually, this amount of water can be scheduled in 20 irrigation steps. As planting is done soon, irrigation should be the very next step. Anyhow, in case of heavy rainfall or floods, water should be drained out of the farm quickly. Commonly, it is a fact that in a hot climate, you must provide water with an interval of seven to nine days, while in winter, this interval should be maximized to four weeks. Controlling the pest, insects, and diseases in apple crops is different according to the variety of the plant. Hope you have subscribed to our channel and shared the episode with your friends. Stay tuned until the next video.